Okay, friend. Now this is a quick review about what is hydropathy plot. So it has been a very confusing topic. What is hydropathy plot? Sometimes people say this hydropathy plot means only the hydrophobicity, and uh, no, not only the it is called the hydrophobicity. But uh, the, in case of hydropathy plot, you need to know one thing very carefully. That is, uh, hydropathy plot tells us about the relation between uh, placing an amino acid into uh, the different solvent medium. The, the type of solvent medium. So two things matter in case of hydropathy plot. The, it is a relation between these two things. One is uh, the amino acid type. Another one is the solvent time. So, so wha in what solvent the amino acid is going to be dissolved. So these two things really matters in case of hydropathy plot. So how can we plot via the hydropathy? So in case of hydropathy plot, if we take the environment of our uh, organic solvents so if you take an organic solvent environment so we suppose we have an organic solvent and we have amino acid A now if this amino acid A have a higher affinity to fold in the solvent uh, A in this in the, in the organic solvent that means that uh, amino acid A is having the hydropathy plot of positive nature and suppose we have a, a amino acid B which uh, which uh, need which need the del G for folding uh, in in the uh, organic solvent for that B amino acid is positive. That means the, they can uh, th that means the B amino acid cannot spontaneously fold or cannot spontaneously go into the uh, solvent that we have taken. So in this case, that B amino acid is carrying the the hydropathy index of negative. And similarly, if we take uh, the environment of of water if you take an environment of water uh, and we take an amino acid A in case of water so in case the amino acid which is easily can be dissolved in the organic solvent but it is uh, it is very hard to dissolve in the water so it is getting away from water it needs the del G for it to dissolve in water is uh, positive that means in case of uh, water if you take a solu sol soluble medium water then in this case uh, the, the hydropathy for the a uh, a amino acid will be positive will be negative and uh, in other case uh, for the b amino acid in this case will be positive so this is the basic idea so again don't confuse yourself so this is a, a representation i can easily see here so in this case you can see this is a stretch of amino acid sequences so we have a polypeptide chain here you have the n terminal you have the c terminal and in this place we have the seven amino not even different amino acids Okay, and there are uh, th these amino acids. One is green, one is light green, dark green, light green. So all these things are amino acids. So among these amino acids, we can see amino acid one, two, three. Uh, so numbering is not actually correct in this case. So these amino acids and these amino acids, we can see. So these amino acids, we can see, uh, have a uh, have higher positive value. So if we put them in the organic solvent condition, then they have a higher tendency to fold properly. So they they won't. Uh, uh, they they have the del G for negative, so they can easily spontaneously fold in the organic solvent uh, medium. So that means uh, in this case they have a higher tendency to fold in the organic solvent or in the hydrophobic uh, in the hydrophobic conditions. So this kind of amino acids can be easily folded uh, under the concentration of hydrophobic nature. So they can interact with each other via the hydrophobic interactions, and these amino acids are generally tends to be enclosed or in, in inside each other. Uh, in, a, in a medium. So if these amino acids are making any alpha helices, because as we know alpha helices has a higher tendency to, to be present in uh, the cell membrane, then this amino acid has to be presented in the outside of the alpha helices that they can interact with the, uh, uh, the, the hydrophobic chains of the fatty acid which is in, uh, can be found in the cell membrane. But if this is an amino acid stretch of a globular protein, then this amino acid has to be folded inside of that protein because they generally do not want to interact with water because they have the hydrophobicity positive for uh, for uh, an organic solvent okay so that's what hydropathy plot means that's what hydropathy plot use so we can use this hydropathy plot to easily determine whether the this amino acid is to be presented inside of a um, of a fully folded protein or outside of a fully folded protein and the type of the protein that we can have so if we draw this if we put this uh, put this uh, 
thing together then we can find here so in this case you can see uh, in different uh, examples we can have different results so using this hydropathy plot we can determine whether and where this amino acid can be found where the amino acid can be folded easily